What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to test out Skate 3 and RPCS3. It's been a long time since I messed around with this emulator, so I figured I'd give it a try here. Before we get started, quick rundown on the specs of the PC this will be running on. An i5-9600K, this is a 6-core CPU, and it's overclocked 5.1 GHz. 16 GB of DDR4, 2400 MHz RAM. And for the GPU, I'm using an EVGA RTX 2080 XC Ultra. Recently, there's been a lot of updates with this emulator here, and they've been able to get Skate 3 to run at 4K 60fps on higher-end machines. I'm using the Vulkan backend here. I do have the recommended settings here, 720p, but resolution scale is set to 300%. So the game itself will be rendered in 4K. I have tested the first tutorial level and I can tell you right now that this game looks amazing in 4K. So there are issues here. There's a lot of sound bugs going on and you're not going to get a constant 60 FPS out of every single stage that you're going to play. I will have Afterburner running up in the top left hand corner so we can see the FPS. We can also see the CPU and GPU usage. It maxes out this 6 core i5 CPU at 5.1 GHz the whole time I'm playing it. So here it is, Skate 3 rendering in 4K on RPCS3, the PS3 emulator for PC. When I was initially testing this game, the sound really threw me off. As you can hear, it's really messed up, but we do have a decent frame rate. You'll get some dips every once in a while, but most of the time we're at a nice 60 FPS. So I went ahead and turned the sound down on my end, I was using headphones while I was recording this, and the game seemed to run a lot better. Now I know it's all in my head because I'm hearing that glitchy sound, it kind of makes me think that the game is glitching out, but it's running really smooth. I'm going to jump into the practice level, the sound is a lot better here because there's just not a lot of stuff going on, and you can see how well it performs here. It's going to be a lot smoother in this practice level because there's not a lot of stuff to render. There's no NPCs, there's no cars, and there's trees out in the background, not right up on you. I'm using the Vulcan back in, and if we take a look in the top left hand corner, my GPU usage is around 35%. But then when we move down the list a little bit to the CPU, we're pegged out at 100%, 5.1 GHz on all six cores. Now I'm confident that the developers over at RPCS3 will optimize this over time. It's come a long way already, and you won't need such a high-end machine to play games like this. And right now I'm really not sure how much of this power is being wasted by the emulator itself. And by wasted I mean not really being used for emulation. I plan on making more videos on RPCS3, I'm really enjoying using this. This is one of those games I really never actually played when it was on Xbox and PS3, so now I have a chance to play it at a higher resolution, and it's only going to get better over time. I'm going to head over to one more spot, and right in the middle of this, I'm going to turn the sound off from the video itself. You don't have to turn it down on your computer or phone that you're watching it on. I just want you guys to let me know in the comments down below, when the sound goes out, does the game seem like it runs better? To me, it feels like the game runs better with the sound off, and it's all in my head, I understand that, it's because there's no sound glitching going on. We just have no sound at all, and the game looks super smooth. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I was really interested in testing this out, and I'm sure some of you guys like to see this stuff also. Really appreciate you watching, I'm going to leave you with a little more gameplay here. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always... Thanks for watching.